high gas prices. This is a problem, not just here in the United States, but around the world. The price of gasoline has reached record levels recently, the highest it's been in years. Of course, it's always painful when gas prices, gas prices spike. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. I'm your boy, Fat Mike. Thank you for joining us again at Fat Mike Media. <sighs> if you haven't noticed by now what the video is going to be talking about, yes, we're going to be talking about this forced gas crisis, okay? Yeah, it's a forced gas crisis. This shit's not natural. And I'm going to explain to you a little of why I feel this way. High gas prices. This is a problem. Not just here in the United States, but around the world. The price of gasoline has reached record levels recently in Europe and in Asia. In France, at the end of the last month, it reached about $7 per gallon. In Japan, it's about $5.50 per gallon. The highest it's been in years. Yeah, speaking on the highest it's been in years. Hmm, I wonder when that was. You remember them two assholes? Wait, yeah, you was the vice president. You was one of them two assholes. How ironic. Of course, it's always painful when gas prices, gas prices spike. Today, the price of gas in America on average is $3.40 a gallon. In California, it's much higher. You say that like it, it's something that affects your day-to-day -day life, right? No, wait, we're paying for your fucking gas too, fucking douchebag. Two weeks ago, I announced the largest ever release of the U.S. Strategic Petroleum Reserve. Increase the supply of oil to help bring down prices. And I met with our friends around the world. Other countries joined us. And those savings are starting to reach drivers now. Today, the average price you're paying here in Kansas City is below $2 a gallon. $3 a gallon. It's down to $2.90 a gallon. Okay, Joe, please explain to me how you dropping 50 million barrels of crude oil is really putting a dent into the issue when in 2020 about 123.73 billion gallons or about 2.95 billion barrels of finished motor gasoline were consumed in the United States, an average of about 338 million gallons per day or about 8.5 million barrels of crude oil per day. So, wow, you gave us enough to do us for like almost a week. And then now, today, look at the fucking price. And it is Tuesday, February 8th. Thank you very much. Like two months after you did this, Joe, where are you actually trying to create gas so low? You're not. You're not. You're trying to play us for fools. You're trying to con us like we're all fucking idiots. But know what, Joe? You can't play us all. And I guarantee you, it's more than half of this country. And you love to use that 90% shit just like fucking uh, Trudeau, you know? 90% of the truckers are vaccinated. Thinking that if you say 90% vaccinated, you're really gonna fucking get the other 10. But are you really gonna fucking have that much fuss over 10%? No, because it's not 90 fucking percent. You just like to try to make yourself look good by throwing out random fucking numbers that equate to shit. You just wanna make it sound fucking good. Sound like you have control. But know what, buddy? You can't control us just like like you can't control your fucking bow. What must be what? What must be what? What must be what? Twenty percent down from cents were from a month ago. Nationally, prices are down seven cents a gallon, continue to fall. Twenty cents, Joe. Twenty cents. I I, I get. I guess I gotta. I guess I gotta give you a round of applause. Twenty cents. Yep, yep. And 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 know what? And know what? Not even like say a month after that 
you go right back to your same fucking spot. Not like, like, do you expect us to give you another fucking applause for, for you to say you brought it down another 20 cents for fucking two weeks? Wow, that's such a fucking accomplishment, Joe. We're making progress. We're going to keep at it to ensure the American people are paying their fair share for gas, not being gouged for gas. talking about you're making progress Joe where does these photos that I just put up here that I personally took myself from around the ray how is this progress Joe it's not progress you gave us a fucking couple of weeks just to go and within a month later shoot it back up on top of that you make it even more expensive than what it was and then if i'm not mistaken it was in november that you was on the air on national tv saying that oh the average american can't afford more than three dollars and 35 cents a gallon so joe that's fucking breaking the bank on us at that i'm not even the average american but i'm a little below but i work every fucking day so where are you helping me out joe you're making it harder for me to be able to even afford to get to work. It's still yet on the making progress, Joe. By making progress, you wouldn't go and revert back to the same price a month later. On top of that, you wouldn't increase it even further than what you it was currently done before you brought it down the 20 cents to expect us to applaud you like you did something. That, that doesn't make any fucking sense, Joe. It might make some sense into your senile head, but that's because you're fucking senile, man. Bringing us a week's worth of fuel in the hopes that it's gonna lower the fucking price. Wow, a couple of weeks of low fuel price and then back the fuck up even higher? I guarantee you, you're probably gonna top Obama's price and that was over $5 again. The impact is real, but the fact is we faced even worse spikes. Yeah, we did fight worse spikes than this before. Speaking of which, um, the Obama administration, George W. Bush Jr. Wait, and how about the Clintons? Don't forget your best idol, fucking FDR, the one that stole everybody's gold and then tried to resell it back to them. I am announcing that the largest ever release from the U.S. Strategic Petroleum Reserve to help provide the supply we need as we recover from this pandemic. No, Joe, you, you didn't give us what we needed. You didn't even give us enough to cover for the time being. See, what we need is for you to take back that fucking pipeline and give it to America like it was from the start. Because now, not only have you fucked us on gas prices, but now you've given Russia a stronghold over fucking Germany, Ukraine, and, and other European areas. And that is because you fucking gave the only source of fuel that those other European countries had the only source that they could get from that wasn't controlled by Russia because they love to use electric and fuel and whatever else they can and 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 turn it off and cut off supplies to these other parts of Europe in order to get them to grant Russia whatever they need th their approval for you help the terrorists, yet again, you are a terrorist, Joe. And definitely, no, you you have not come remotely close on giving this country what we need. You've destroyed every fucking thing that we could have needed, and you continue to destroy the shit that we need, and then say that we need to do it another way. Well, no, what? How about you get the other shit working and running and 
being productive and actually in the positive rather than the negative before you shut down other shit. What sense does it make to say you shut down something when really you, you didn't, you just shut it down for America to run it. You let some other country come in, take control of it, and now you're letting them push us around and telling us how much they're gonna produce, not produce what we need. And if they would produce what we needed, it wouldn't need to be this fucking pricey. But know what? You cannot create a crisis and then cry about it like it's something that's natural and happened without anybody at fault because you're at fault that it happened. If you didn't touch it, it would have been fucking perfect. We could have been under $2 a gallon on gas. Ha wouldn't have had seen them fucking numbers since the 90s. But no, you had to fuck that up. And know what? For all we know, you're just collecting all that money, extra money, and saying that all this shit's this way, just so you can pocket some shit so you and your family can live like rock stars after your one term's over, because you are definitely gonna be a one-term president. It wasn't even worse shit as a vice president, let alone a president. You should have left everything alone that Trump had going, because you could have just sat back and collected fucking money, but no. That wasn't good enough. You wanted to get it all. You want all the Americans' money. Just like FDR wanted all of our fucking gold. Seriously, leave it to Joe Biden and he'll set us back to the Stone Age until he can get his electricity idea working 100%. Honestly, maybe we would have been better off with the guy Berman Supreme that wore the boot on his head. At least he would have gave us a fucking horse during the time that he shut down all the fossil fuel vehicles so we could at least get back and forth to work or at least so, yeah. So at least then the companies could have it, maybe the vehicles, I don't know. But either way, at least he would have gave us some type of transportation rather than just fucking skyrocketing the fuel until we can't afford it. So we'll have to be forced not to drive our cars or uh, some crazy shit like that. He's using these gas prices as a way to hold us hostage and drain our bank accounts because you ain't driving an electric car. Who are you to choose that for us, Joe? It shouldn't be in anybody's power to tell us. That's what the whole fucking economy runs off of. It's what the whole world runs off of. Fossil fuels and coal. The two biggest things that you want to destroy. Guess what? You need coal in order to make your little solar panels, you dummy. Oh wait, that's right. My science is completely wrong because it doesn't agree with yours. In addition, I brought together other nations to contribute to the solution. India, Japan, the Republic of Korea, and the United Kingdom have agreed to release additional oil from their reserves. And China may do more as well. This coordinated action will help us deal with a lack of supply, which in turn helps ease prices. Really, what does any of them other countries have anything to do with about releasing fuel? It's not coming to our country and their own people will be lucky if it even comes to their own fucking gas stations, especially for the citizens of China. But really, Joe, what does that have any fucking thing to do with America? That's not helping America. That's not affecting America. The only thing that's affecting America is how much gas you're letting these pipelines pump and are you giving the pipeline that was coming from Canada to America and you shut down all the work for Canadians and Americans and now it's just strictly Russia running that shit. Russian workers and whatnot. Not American workers working for them, for Russia, no, Russia. And then on top of that, like I, I'm pretty sure that, that Russia's dropped their quality and standards of what that all was pushing when it was ran by Canada and America. So yet again, you think you're doing something good for society and the world when in reality you're not you're shutting down cleaner pollution factories to double and triple time 
the ones that put out more pollution. How does that make fucking sense? You should shut down the more dirty ones and only keep open cleaner ones. If they can't meet these standards, then they should be shut down. Not shut down the fucking new aged ones and put up the old ones that just fucking put out 100% pollution. You fucking morons. Every last one of you Democrats are fucking morons that support this fucking tyrannical dictator. Even if fucking Trump ever became a fucking dictator, at least he wouldn't fucking torture us and punish us every goddamn day of the week like this old fucking fool. Two weeks ago, I announced the largest ever release of the U.S. Strategic Petroleum Reserve to increase the supply of oil to help bring down prices. I met with our friends around the world. Other countries joined us. And those savings are starting to reach drivers. Now, today, the average price you're paying here in Kansas City is below $2 a gallon. $3 a gallon. It's down to $2.90 a gallon. 20% down from cents for, from a month ago. Nationally, prices are down $0.07 cents a gallon and continue to fall. We're making progress. We're going to keep at it to ensure the American people are paying their fair share for gas, not being gouged for gas. And he talks about bringing this gas price down. Well, we're now February 7th, as I just mentioned. And he said this on like, probably even some of this was before even Thanksgiving for the factor of them referring to Thanksgiving. So some of these, well, the one clip might be a little older than the two months exactly. If he was really trying to get this gas crisis down, okay, his 50 million barrels of crude oil really is not gonna do shit for us. And this is why. He wants to say he's going to drop the, the largest ever amount of crude oil. States right here, from EIA.gov. EIA uses product supplied to represent US petroleum consumption. In 2020, the United States consumed an average of about 18.19 million barrels of petroleum per day, or a total of about 6.66 billion barrels of petroleum and I love that number 666 I wouldn't be surprised it they all fucking worship the fucking devil man as some of these fucking state buildings and some of these cities they remove God and then allow them to bring a fucking statue of Satan into the goddamn thing the fuck yeah we gotta get God out of here and bring in our almighty superior Satan Oh, hell Satan, right? They only use 40% of a barrel of the crude oil to produce gasoline. The rest is used to produce a host of products including jet fuel and plastics and many industrial chemicals. Well, you also do get like a byproduct from creating gas to actually make soap so and while we're at this spot just got me to thinking but a few years ago i heard that america has enough crude oil to supply the world for 500 years so how do we not have enough for the government to release enough during this time to keep gas at the prices of what say Trump had it it wouldn't be that complicated and then they would have plenty of time to restock what they used within a year but no it's all about money there is no crisis it's all forced for their pocket so in 2021 and this shows you a huge fucking difference 11.18 million well wait the thing says how many barrels are used per day in the u.s 2021 
But after you open this shit, it states, in 2019, the U.S. produced 12.29 million barrels of crude oil per day, according to the U.S. Energy Information Administration. (laughs) That figure was... 11.28 million in 2020 and is estimated to be 11.18 million in 2021. No, this, yeah, this totally did not answer the question. The question asked, how much is used per day, not how much is created per day. So thank you, Google and CNBC. For giving out misinformation. Somebody asked how much was used. Not created in the US. Used in the US. This, But yet they want to fucking attack people like me. And say I'm the one spreading misinformation. Huh? My fucking ass. You're silencing people like me. So the fucking misinformation motherfuckers. Can just go out there and have a fucking field day with everybody. Right? Right. Fuck you YouTube biased ass fucking commie ass loving son of a bitches this platform should really move the fuck off of american soil and we should fucking get the cancel youtube from any american fucking servers so bye bye fucking website or at least in our fucking shit china has their own shit so they can go fucking live off of China's. And I mean, really, Joe, here, here's like my biggest thing is that you, you said back in November, okay, around my fucking birthday, that, oh, the average American can't afford above $3.35 a gallon. Go and you knock it down to barely under $3. And I'm like any fucking week now and it's gonna be right back up and know what i was right because i love how you drop it down a penny here two pennies there and whatnot you know and then when it comes back it jumps up 10 20 cents at a time i no president in history not even i don't even remember i don't even believe obama jumped it up that drastically like your greedy cheapskating ass does but like you you say that you want to get this gas down but know what funny thing it was fine where it was at until you came in so maybe it's you that's really got to go joe because that's the only thing that's going to affect these gas prices but it's already a common thing. Like, where do you Democrats not realize this? It's a fucking trend. Every time a Democrat gets into office, higher taxes, higher gas. That's the two biggest things that change between Republican and Democrat. But the funny thing is, is every time, like, say, how it is for when how how prices are when democrats are in to how prices are when republicans are it's literally like this they want to try to fool you and say it's opposite but no gas was almost five dollars a gallon when obama was in and tell me this please please somebody try to answer this one okay if it was such a crisis for them to have gas so fucking high and yet to try to build back up to that why is it that if it was such a crisis why is it so simple for a republican or a conservative of some sort to come in and just with that price because the only crisis that there is is that these greedy democratic congress people have anywhere from four to eight years to get up as much money as they humanly can fucking possibly get the citizens to pay them so they can try to live a fat luxurious life for the rest of their days after they serve whether it's a fucking single term 
or a full time. It's bullshit. The only crisis that's involved to create all of these issues for us is Joe's bank account. That 10% from Hunter ain't fucking paying enough. You know, I mean, he gets paid the same fucking paycheck for the rest of his fucking natural born life after he's been president. Where do you need to have any more than that? You could live like a baller like that. The fuck? You all want to say that Trump's the one working with Russia? Trump would have never, never have gave that pipeline to Vladimir. Biden gifted that pipeline to Russia. So you think, oh yeah, it was a good thing to shut down the pipeline. No, it didn't get shut down. It didn't. The only thing that got shut down was the American contract that ran that shit. That's the only thing that got shut the fuck down. It's back up and running. Only thing is, is now it's not going to be used to create a faster and safer method of transporting the oil from Canada to America. No, now we're going to take this fucking oil, which would have cut out so many fucking ships because of how many crises have we had in the Gulf because of BP and all of their oil spills. But no, we're going to stop this oil line from moving shit from solid ground to solid ground. And we're going to fucking pack this shit into a fucking tanker ship and ship it all the way to fucking Russia. For all you little environmental fuck sticks out there that think you're really fucking doing something for this planet. Biggest thing with us having that pipeline, the stories of Vladimir cutting off electricity and things like that to other parts of Europe that depend on them to supply them with the power. Now you have let Joe destroy all of those areas of Europe that depended on fuel for the simple factor that this asshole Vladimir fucking goes and cuts off the fucking power to use it as political strongholds to force people to fucking give in on shit or else he'll keep the fucking shit off and let them fucking freeze. Well, that's the whole fucking point of the pipeline and us supplying them with the fucking crude oil they need to keep warm for when his ass cuts that shit off but no now because thanks to good old sleepy joe he has fucking doomed europe for the duration of the democratic stronghold on america now they're at russia's full whim so now he can cut off all the fuel and their power so they won't have gas for their cars, their heaters, nor electric. He's fucked them. Thank you, Joe. You've done such a good job. You're gonna destroy the world. This imbecile is going to destroy every fucking deal we had with other countries whether it was trade deals or fucking allies and what he did in the middle east that fucking president fled and abandoned his people because he had enough money and shit to get out of there right before joe turned against our allies and wants us to support motherfuckers we've been fighting since I was nine years old and I'm 33. How fucking idiotic is that? I will never look at them people, anyone from Al Qaeda and all that. They're, they're fucking terrorists and, 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 and they wanna fucking attack our gun laws and they need to fucking look at the fucking uh, 
immigration laws because it's easier to fucking get into our country than it is to buy a fucking gun. Trying to take all of our weapons away from the legal owners is only going to allow the criminals to fucking be the ones with firearms. You can't even fucking depend on police to get there even before all this shit really went south. Let alone expect them to be our fucking ultra heroes. Not even that. You want to fucking defund the police and take our fucking guns. Know what? No. I'm cool with the defunding the police. You leave our fucking guns alone because who else is gonna fucking be able to monitor that shit other than the fucking police? Really? Like, you cannot fucking force all of these crises and expect it, us to, to believe that it's natural. Gas was half of this fucking price when Trump was in. And look at it now. Alright, well that about wraps it up for me on this video. I will add more to this topic on a future video. But until next time... Please make sure to hit the subscribe button if you like this video and help me grow this channel. But other than that, I'm your boy Fat Mike. Have a good night. That's ISO. Rack it up, rack it up. I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house. Shake it up, shake it up. She got her hands on her knees and she bringing the cake out. Smoke it up, smoke it up. I got some gas and packs. I'm up in the greenhouse. Ball it up, ball it up. I'm with the gang. We taking shots off the rebound. Fucking my post to say now. I've been humble too long. Yeah. Tell them all to stay calm. Yeah. Tell them all to move on. Yeah. Fucking my post to say now. They be lost in the sauce. Yeah. Took a loss, that's your loss. Yeah. Had to get my point across. Yeah. Heard them lasers talking, and we don't pay that no mind. Didn't need a